It's from ASRock and Intel, and it's for a sponsored build. Let's get building. My goodness, what a box. First thing in the box, it's the ASRock Z690 Tai Chi. It's infinite potential in the box. That's why the gravitational field is being warped. Then we've got Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 memory. This is 32 gigs of DDR5 5200 CL404040. Our core i9. Our i9 CPU to rock. A new cooler from Cooler Master. This is the uh, Cooler Master PL360 Flux. Uh, this is probably going to get its own review because Cooler Master is doing something different with these. You stay tuned for that. And we get some really awesome Tai Chi swag. Look at that. It's a plus one bag of holding. And Azrod got me an extra tubby hoodie. Woo! It is, uh, it is getting to be colder weather. <laughs> colder weather. Thanks, Azrock. Oh, wait, there's more. I had to climb inside the box because it's bigger on the inside. I don't know what this is. It's got a, it's got a carabiner on it. Oh, it's a bag. Well, it really can be a bag of holding. I can put this bag in its compacted form into the other bag and have a second travel bag. Ooh. It's a tea maker. This is a 450 milliliter drink container, but it has this little strainer. So I could put my tea in here and then pour in the hot liquid over the tea and uh, make myself a nice tea with this and then remove the tea and put the lid on it. And I like this, I'll actually use this. All right, so we got all the i9 goodies. Time for a build. All right, we've got our i9, we've got our Tai Chi, and we've got our memory. When you've got your retail stuff, the assembly instructions are pretty easy. i9 12900K, my goodness. Mom! With our board pre assembled, now it's time for a case. And in this case, I've picked the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic. First order of business is to get the power supply and the CPU cooler mounted. Gives us lots of options for that. And just like that, we've got a pretty much top 100 system on 3D Mark for pretty much anything. Well, at least when we add the PS de Resistance, the 6900 XT from ASRock, this is the OC formula. It is the formula for getting at the top of the charts without having to do anything. You basically just plug it in and you're good to go. So this is the GPU that we're adding, the 6900 XT. I like it. Now, one of the really cool things that ASRock is doing with their motherboards is making them compatible with a VGA bracket. 
So in the box, there's a little bracket that mounts here on the front edge of the motherboard, and that will prevent GPU sag. So we're gonna take advantage of that for this build. Fetch, ye oldie motherboard box. Two really important things for this build. One, in the box, right in the motherboard box from ASRock are our extra USB connections. And then the second thing, that's our VGA bracket. Ah, now maybe it becomes clear why I chose the O11 Dynamic. Check out the bracket. Yes, the bracket clears the heatsink and fans of our AIO, and it clears our right angle USB 3 connection, which was, you know, difficult to wedge in there because you, you pretty much have to plug the USB in and then kind of angle in the bottom fan. Otherwise, the, the cable is a little bit too bunched because the cable is sitting inside the cavity where the fan is. But this is going to be a great thing to hold our VGA card. This is awesome. That is a nice sag free experience. If you're gonna go for a build like this, I definitely recommend adding some fans either to the top or the bottom. The bottom will bring fresh air in. The top will help move the hot air from the outside. This is gonna bring some air from this part of the chamber to the back part of the case and the, the warm air is gonna pass through you know, this side of the case as long as you don't have it against a wall or something like that. And the power supply is gonna pull air in from this side and exhaust it out the back. So. The airflow in this case is pretty good if you add some more fans. But I have to say, that's a sharp looking build. Let's get this thing put together and do some benchmarks. <laughs> well, here we are after a couple of days of testing and oh boy, this machine is full beast mode. The 6900 XT paired with the 12900K exceeds the 6900 XT performance even on prior generation platforms, both the 5950X and the 11900K. Alder Lake just unlocks monster performance, at least with most games. There are still some games that don't perform all that great with Alder Lake. There are some workarounds. There are some utilities that you can install. You can even toggle scroll lock so that you don't ever assign a game to the efficiency core. Everything always stays on the P core. That solves some uh, copy protection problems and some other things like that. That aside, oh boy, this machine is full beast mode. It is completely nuts. Now I've set it up temporarily on mega desk with the 48 inch OLED display. Gaming at 120 Hertz on the 6900 XT on this setup is incredible. It is absolutely bananas. I can toggle on Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Between that and the 12900K, it doesn't even break a sweat. All the CPU overhead and everything else that I'm running, it is a dream machine. And it's a monster machine as well. I did end up adding three more Cooler Master fans to the bottom of the case as I said I would, just so that when the side's on, it can pull in a lot of fresh air from the bottom, and then it exhausts air out the side and top, just because of air pressure. It actually works really well for this case. I was a little worried about airflow over the motherboard. Maybe I would need to add another fan in the top or something with a 3D printed duct, but the ASRock has a built-in VRM fan and that seems to do the job here. I didn't even need to use the extra VRM fan that came in the Tai Chi motherboard, which is nice. Twenty minutes later. Two hours later. Well, there you go. Now there's some things that I wanted to test but I couldn't, and that was quad channel DDR5. And the reason for that is quad channel DDR5 is crazy hard to get your hands on right now because DDR5. Still, this is a beast system. This build was a lot of fun. Thanks, Azrock. Probably gonna be using this for streaming as well. So streaming, gaming, and that kind of thing, just to see how it goes. I really like this combination of the 6900 XT and the Alder Lake 12900K. Now you could save a few bucks and get the 12700K. I think that's a perfectly reasonable CPU as well. You only lose four efficiency cores, so for gaming performance, it's basically identical. Check out our video on that. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, I'm signing out, and you can find me in the Level 1 forums.